This is how you can record horizontal and vertical Fortnite gameplay all with one plugin. I understand that when streaming is highly recommended to post your clips on TikTok, but most of the time your gameplay is in landscape mode and you have to edit your video to where it can be in portrait. But with the help of this plugin, you won't have to do that anymore because it can record portrait gameplay at the same time. This plugin also allows you to clip past moments in your stream using Backtrack, which is basically OBS's version of clipping similar to NVIDIA. And to top things off, if you're someone who streams with a low bitrate, you're probably going to have a really grainy image quality when you download your streams and edit them. But with this plugin, you're going to be able to record at a higher bitrate no matter what your internet speed is, which will automatically make your clips look way better and possibly get you more viewers and followers on your videos. I want this video to be very short, simple, and straight to the point, but before I get into the video, be sure to drop a like if this video helped you out, comment any questions you have below, and subscribe with notifications on if you want to get notified whenever I post more videos just like and lastly, I also happen to be a streamer on Twitch, and I love to share all the different tips and tricks live on those streams. So you should go check out my Twitch down below in the description. Now, finally, let's get into the tutorial. The first thing you want to do is come to your browser, search up Atrium Vertical Plugin. Now, you want to click on this link right here that says Atrium Vertical OBS Forms. And eventually, a download should start downloading to your PC. Now that it's downloaded to my PC, I'm just going to open it up. Then you want to click on Yes. Then you want to click on Next. Then you want to click on Next again. And you want to click on install. Now, once it's installed, you just want to click on finish, and then you want to open up OBS. Once you're in OBS, you just want to go to the top, and you want to click on docs, and then you want to click on vertical. Now, you want to go to where it says docs again, and you want to click on vertical sources. What you want to do is click on the plus sign, and you want to add sources just like you would with any other OBS. So, I'm just going to click on add uh, display capture, click on display capture right here, and now I have my display capture right here on the screen. Once I've added my display capture, I'm going to add a base cam. So, once again, you just click on the plus. Video capture, and I'm click on new. I'm just going to quickly add a base cam, like so. And I'm just going to bring this out a little bit. And just like that, I have set up my vertical recordings. Now, I just want to quickly say that you can still use the same base cam and hand cam that you're currently using for your landscape gameplay. You can also use the same display capture and game capture. You basically are just going to be taking all that stuff that you're already using and just redistributing it across this vertical canvas right here. You can still use the same face cam, same hand cam, same gameplay. I just want to make sure that you guys don't try to set up set, a separate webcams because you can use the same ones. Now that the vertical canvas has been set up, you want to start setting up your clipping. Now with this plugin, you're going to be able to live stream, record, and clip. So I'm going to show you guys how to do each one. As far as live streaming goes, you want to go to your settings and you just want to go to streaming. And you probably just want to keep the main OBS settings so that you're not having your PC do things that they really already have good settings just keep it the way they are now obviously for your video bit right that's just going to be determined based off how good your internet is so i probably recommend doing 4500 and for me if i'm streaming on tiktok i know that a lot of people like to watch my streams i'm going to set my bit rate a little bit higher now once you got your stream settings right it's up to you to come up to the top and put in the right streaming information so make sure you have your stream key from youtube or tiktok and put it in here and of course the link to the server that you're streaming to make sure you paste it right here and then, of course, you can just make sure you have this thing set to enable, and then you click on OK. And all you have to do is just click on this little green, like, little live symbol right here, and it will allow you to go live vertically to whatever platform you're trying to stream to. For recording, you want to come to your recording settings, and obviously, you want to set your bit rate a little bit higher because you probably want to have higher quality clips. If you're streaming or recording at 1080p, you want to have 6,000 kilobits per second. So I'm going to set this to 6,000 because I take 1080p clips. Now what I want to do is come down to advanced. Now you can either choose to use your main OBS settings for recordings if you have good recording quality already. You mainly want to click on this box if you already have really good settings and you just want to copy them. It's going to come out. Now for as far as the encoder goes, make sure it's just using the one that matches whatever uh, graphics card you have. If you have an Intel graphics card, you're going to want to use one of these uh, AV1s. If you are using your CPU, stick to using the X264. If you're going to use an NVIDIA graphics card, make sure you choose one. backtrack goes you want to make sure this box is checked right here this will allow you to start backtracking what it's doing is it's basically recording in the background of all the things that's happening on stream and then you click on this little backtrack button right here it will record the last amount of time that you submitted let me explain if you go to your settings right here 
you go to general, you're gonna see backtrack. You wanna come over here, you wanna make sure you have backtrack runs while streaming and recording. So now while you're streaming, you're gonna have backtrack enabled. Then what you wanna do is go to backtrack recording link. And you wanna set this to around two minutes. You can do three minutes, four minutes, however many minutes you would like to record or clip. Then you wanna to go to the backtrack recording path and make sure that this thing is going to a file that is easy for you to find. I have it saving to my videos, so pretty much every single thing that I clip is just gonna to go to my videos while I just go to videos, I find a clip and I can start using it. So a good setting. Obviously resolution, you wanna to try to do 1080p by 1920, but you can set it to something lower in your PC. This just can't get it. Then click on OK. And now all you have to do is click on this little backtrack button right here. It says backtrack saving. And now that it's saved, I just go to my files right here. I just go to videos, right? And as you guys can see, this right here is the recording of the last two minutes of me making a video. But as you guys can see, it just clipped exactly what I wanted to clip in high quality.